Psalm 62 For God alone my soul waits in silence. From Him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will all of you attack a man to batter him like a leaning wall, a tottering fence? They only plan to thrust him down from his high position. They take pleasure in falsehood. They bless with their mouths, but inwardly they curse. Selah. For God alone, O my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge, is God. Trust in Him at all times, O people. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God, and that to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love. For you will render to a man according to his work. Psalm 63 O God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food. And my mouth will praise you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand upholds me. But those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall exult, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today is Psalm 62 and 63. Now these two psalms are the psalm of David. Let's start with 62. For God alone my soul weighs in silence. For him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. And that's how this psalm began. Now what David is saying is that he trusts God alone. And he says he wait in silence, sort of like when you are waiting for your parents at school and you are waiting there expecting with assurance that they will come and pick you up. Just like that, we wait on God knowing that he will come through. And then it says that he is my rock, he's my fortress. Think of a rock. Rock is strong. It will not be shaken. I heard a story about a tornado that went through a town and all the house were in damage and trees are broken off. It was a mess. But they found this huge rock and the vine was still on the rock. The reason the vine remains still there, unlike the tree, is that vine wrapped itself around the rock, that which was strong. Even the vine is weak, that rock was strong. Just like that, when we wrapped ourselves around God, who is strong, though we are weak, He gives us His strength, so we will not be shaken. You know that everyone trusts in something. Some people trust in their money. Some people put their trust in people. Some people trust their education. The problem is with all this thing, the people and the thing, that is that it will fade, that it will change. Only God is worthy of our trust because God is faithful and he does not change and that God is powerful so verse 8 tells us that trust in him at all time O people pour out your heart before him God is a refuge for us so when we trust him who is powerful who is faithful who does not change you will be secure when we wrap ourselves around him and trust him and now it's Psalm 63. It shows how important it is to have a personal relationship with God. David says, Oh God, you are my God. Can you say that about God? That He is your God? David had a personal relationship with God. Thus he says, I thirst for you. I faint for you. He says, Your love is better than life. 
Really? God is better than your own life? You could only say that when you have a personal relationship with God. Now, David did not just know about God, but he had a personal relationship and he knew God. He experienced God personally, and when he was in danger, God rescued him when he called on his name. When he sinned, he called on God and he experienced God's forgiveness. So David experienced God personally. So what does the person who experienced God personally? Well, in this psalm, it's full of praise to God. In sanctuary, I will behold your power and glory. Whenever he worship, he behold, he hold on to the power and glory of God. I will praise and lift my hands as long as I live. He wants to give, offer a praise to his name. I will rejoice in God. So that is what a personal relationship with God does to people. They want to praise God. They want to rejoice in God. And they want to lift up their hand to worship him. Do you have a personal relationship with God? That personal relationship with God is only possible through Jesus Christ. If you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, if you receive Jesus Christ into your life and you believe on his words, then you will be his child. So let us pray. Father, we want to thank you for your faithfulness and God that you do not change. And we know that God, we desire to be even deeper in our personal relationship with you. And I thank you for sending Jesus where our relationship is possible. Through his sacrifice, through believing in his name, we come to know you. So Father, help us to continue to grow in our walk with you. May our lives be full of praise. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.